Hi, this is Born62, I'm Henry Hughes. What do you say? This is a new tank top I got from a good friend Peter. Not a very fitness related message, but uh, fun anyway, and maybe you know the song. Anyway, today I'm going to talk about the triceps kickback. It's an uh, old exercise, Arnold and all the other classic bodybuilders used it in their time. And it's still around, though you don't see it that much anymore. A lot of people use machines, a lot of people use cables, but uh, this is a good old standby. It's not a mass builder because of the accurate position you're in, you're not able to handle big heavy dumbbells. You'll probably need a, a quite small dumbbell to, to do this right. But it's a good finisher and it's a good shaper for, for that horseshoe uh, you want on the triceps. The two heads of the triceps, the lateral head giving you this horseshoe shape and the medial head which is almost concealed within the arm are both attached to the upper arm so they are only moving the forearm in position regarding the upper arm. The long head of the triceps is attached up over the shoulder joint meaning that if you have your arm up here it's stretched fully and if you have your arm back here is contracted at both joints at the same time. Contrary to what people believe, you get the best effect for muscle building if the muscle is stretched over one joint and contracted over the other. So if you really want to address the long head of the triceps, you should do exercises where the arm is above your head and the long head of the triceps is stretched that way. But what now, when we do this, where we have uh, the arm at our side of the body and keep it there. Isn't the long head involved? Of course it is because it's in a full contracted position. So it will still be involved but this is something that will be best. It will engage the lateral head of your triceps giving you that horseshoe shape. In order to really emphasize that you should have a neutral grip so your hand comes back and forth like this. Some people like to do it standing and just bend over and stand like this. I prefer the stability of a bench, but you can, if there's no bench available, you can do it standing. Some people even do it with both arms at the same time. I think it's hard to focus on the correct, correct way to do it. Uh, I, I prefer going back and forth between left and right. But try it out, you can try different versions and see what, what you think is best. If you are in there to save time, going back and forth between two arms takes the same amount of time as doing both arms at one time and then having to have a break in between. So it doesn't matter that much in my opinion. But let's see it. Just like with a one arm dumbbell roll, I place a knee and a hand on the bench, pick up this dumbbell, keep my arm stationary at the side of the body and extend it backwards and flex the triceps as hard as possible. You can get a really good flex here. The contraction can be felt almost immediately, so if you're in for painful exercises, this is a good candidate. As I said, you can't handle enormous uh, dumbbells in this exercise. So I would put this in as one of the last exercises in my triceps program after I had done some bigger compound movements to build mass. But try it out, it's a great shaper and it's something you could, can feel the next day. Uh, you can be sure of that. So write me if you have any questions. Remember to leave a like. See you next week. Bye.